in the trenches with Ryan Roxy. Um, you talked about the band stories and um, basically you moved back after uh, being in Wisconsin. Yeah, three you years. ended up moving back to, to Jersey and that's uh, basically stories sort of fell into because you've you've auditioned and been the the guitar player um that's always gotten the gig in a bunch of different bands right yes except i didn't get the aussie gig but that's that story that not a lot of people know because who's the guy that they always say was um the the first guitarist of Ozzy after um, Randy's it was, passing. It was Bernie Torme, who, we, who was a pretty good friend of mine, uh, English guy, passed away a few years ago. What a sweet guy, man! Great guitar player too. Uh, he only did one gig though, because I guess he and Ozzy had some kind of conflict, from what I understand. But the thing is, you and Randy Rhodes, maybe it's the initials, Randy Rhodes. You know, Ryan Roxy, Richie, Ryan Roxy, Richie Rano. We uh, have to change Federica's first name to Roberta R Raba. <laughs> You know what? There you go. It it's might be she's shaking her head. Yes. But the thing <laughs> is, maybe we should all get some Rolls Royces then. That'd be perfect. But I know, but Randy and you uh, had a special connection because it didn't it happen. What what band was it that Randy would come and see you play it? Stars. It was stars. Right away. It was during the very first tour. A couple of months in, we were playing Anaheim Stadium with... Uh, Leonard Skinner, Jeff Beck, Aerosmith, although Leonard Skinner, somebody got into a, one of their regular motorcycle accidents, so they had to cancel last minute. But um, it was a big, big lineup. It was great. It was one of the, it's one of the most memorable, memorable shows. Uh, and Randy was did. just this nice kid at the time, just a, just nice an up and coming kid, um, guitar player. I didn't meet him at the stadium, but two days later, Capitol ran some party for us over at the Santa Monica Pier and. It's so all these people, and it was a big deal, and they spent a lot of money on that instead of the way they should have really been spending the money. But they spent money on this party, and this kid and his girlfriend come up to me, and they're telling me they're big Stars fans, and they got this flyer that says we're playing Don Kirshner's at the Aquarius Theater, and they're going to be there, and the kid's name is Randy. And like I said, I didn't know he was a guitar player, and he just said they love Stars. Then they showed up at the Aquarius, and that was like an eight-hour day with lots of breaks. So I hung out with him and his girlfriend, and... He said the kid that was with him was his bass player, but it wasn't Randy. It wasn't Rudy Sarso. It was some, I, I don't know his, the kid's name. And so I got to know them, and Randy was a nice kid. He told me he played guitar, and I said, oh, that's great. You know, and, but he was really nice. Like, he was just, uh, just a good kid. You know, he was probably uh, 19 at the time, I'm thinking. And, and then uh, how, how did it come to be that you remain friends, and how did it come to be at one point that uh, after the tragedy, you get this phone call? Well, we remained friends because every time we went to L.A., he was somehow backstage hanging with us, which was fine. I mean, I didn't put him on the uh, the guest list. I don't know how he got there. I never asked him. But the last time I saw him, I didn't know his last name, you know. And the very last time I saw him, uh, I was taking off. We were playing the Starwood, which was the greatest rock club in the history of the United States, uh, on Hollywood Boulevard, I believe it was, the Starwood. So I think we did three, four nights, something like that. And... Uh, the last night we're talking and um, he goes, quiet, riot. And he kind of had a rasp to his voice. And I guess he was, I don't know why he had that rasp that night. And he said, I said, what, what the hell does that mean? He goes, oh, that's my band. Oh, I said, okay, that's fantastic. Good luck with the band. I A car was coming to get me right at that moment. And I said, take care. Now, that was, that was really very important that he said that to me because now I was not an Ozzy fan when Ozzy was in Black Sabbath. Uh, because, and I want to explain, I don't want to offend anyone because people love Black Sabbath. Of course, but of course. I was listening to Led Zeppelin and Deep Purple and, and Richie Blackmore and Jimmy Page, incredible guitar playing. And when Black Sabbath came up, well, I didn't hear any incredible guitar playing, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, the songs were okay, but I gravitated towards the great guitar players and listening to them. Okay, so I was not a fan. So uh, one day I'm listening to the radio, 1981, I guess it was, and I'm hearing... Uh, this Ozzy stuff, I'm thinking, geez, that sounds just like Ozzy, but the music's great. The guitar playing's great, right? So I yeah, buy the album. I buy the album, but I don't really know who the players are. I, didn't, I saw Tommy Aldrich, who I knew, uh, because he was in Pat Travers' band and Black Oak, who I toured with both of them, you know? So, but I, I didn't really pay attention to the other guys. I didn't really look at the pictures closely. I got both albums, thought they were great. And then the horrible tragedy happened, and I saw, I was reading the newspaper, and I said, oh, my God, the kid died. And they said, 
Randy Rhodes, formerly of the band Quiet Ride, and went, oh, no, it was Randy. Oh, sort of. That's when I realized. Together. Yeah. Wow. So then um, a few days, so it, was, it was a good two weeks later, I think, before they did the auditions, and I got a call. Uh, they, you know, they knew that he was a big fan of stars and myself and thought it would be maybe a good fit. So they flew, they flew three people out there, Rudy Sarzo's brother, uh, Robert, uh, Bernie Torme and myself. And I was the first person to play with them. And when they were setting up the instruments and getting ready to play, they were all got, wow, I can't believe this is the first time we're getting on our instruments. And I thought, oh, these poor guys, I, I, can't, I know how they must feel, you know. So I just jammed and we just jammed. We didn't play any songs for a while. And then we played uh, we played some Ozzy songs. Everything okay on your end over there? Everything's good for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought maybe the cat was coming to get you. No, my wife just came in and gave me the thumbs up. And then I gave her a thumbs up. And she's like, why'd you give me a thumbs up? And it's like, I want to hear the story about Randy Rhodes, you know? So, well, so what happened was uh, I, I really thought I was going to get the gig. I mean, I, I thought I played really well. And we, we all got along really well. And we played for quite a while, and then and you've pretty much gotten almost every audition that you've ever yeah. tried, you've tried out for. Well, so not why not? Audition, you know, yeah, this was heartbreaking. I quit music for a while after that. <laughs> I really did, but anyway, um, uh, I, Ozzy didn't show for the for the auditions. Uh, he just uh, they sent me home after about three days and said, "Okay, we pick somebody." I said, "Okay," so. Uh, uh, later, my buddy Jolly was on the tour. The same guy I was telling you about. Same guy you talked about from, from Fungi, which he means was... weed in Vietnam. See, I love the way stories come around here. In the <laughs> so he was the lighting director for Ozzy. And he called me and he said, listen, the reason you didn't get it is because Ozzy said, who had blonde hair? Any of them? And my hair was pretty dark at the time. And Bernie had blonde hair. And he said, they took, they took the blonde hair guy. Damn. But then he didn't last. And they got uh, word from um, somebody, a uh, famous guitar player. I can't think of, can't think of his name now. Uh, who knew Brad, Gil, uh, Brad uh, what's his name? From uh, Brad Gillis. Brad Gillis from Night from Ranger. From Night Ranger, yeah, yeah. And he got the gig. And, you know, he got blasted by the fans, and he shouldn't have. He did a great job. You know? No, no, I, I still, like I said, I still play um, Crazy Train the way that he because he stylized it just a little bit different than randy and i can still play that version of it as well i'm ryan roxy and i've taken all my years of experience of playing guitar and i want to pass the torch of rock and roll on to you check out the system 12 guitar method